everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here I'm Shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance beauty and wellness and if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe subscribe so y'all in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you some rainy day spring spring rainy day fragrances that I really enjoy wearing when the weather is rainy as it is a lot in the spring um i did a video like this before i will link it above if you haven't seen it check it out but someone in my comments requested a video like this and i said you know it might be fun to do an update because i have more fragrances that i enjoy um for rainy days in my collection now so i'm going to share those with you and maybe some repeats because y'all i did not have time to go and see what i put in my previous video so i know some i these are newer fragrances since i filmed that video so i know it's not everything's not the same okay now i remember in my first <laughs> video that i did like this people were like because i tend okay when it's rainy for me usually where i live that means it's hot and it's muggy and it's icky you know and so um for, when it weather like that i like to smell super fresh super clean so i didn't have a lot of cozy rainy day fragrances and i still don't i have a couple here um but i just don't because usually where I live when it's raining, it's not usually cold. Now, today, surprisingly, it's rainy, it's cloudy, it's chilly. And so I'm going to share with you the, the couple of fragrances I would wear on days like that. But still in the spring for me, because I'm just, I know this is a long intro, y'all, but I'm just thinking about the comments that I remember from that video. And... I'm not one that even in the spring, I'm not going to pull out Christmas cookies today because it's a little chilly and rainy. That's just not my go-to for rainy day fragrances. I, I don't know why I'm like that, but, but that's how I am. It's a couple here that I would consider, you know, sweet and gourmand, but the majority are uh, shampooy, fruity, uh, You'll see, it's just what I tend to gravitate towards because most of the time also when it's raining, I'm not at home enjoying the rain, I'm at work. That's how it goes. That's like a joke where I work because everybody knows I love the rain. And usually when it's raining or something, I am at work because it tends to rain during the week. And then by the time the weekend comes along where you can have a rainy day, you know, relax and chill and read and Netflix or whatever you wanna do, it's gone. <laughs> so I am not at home enjoying the rain. Usually I'm out traveling in it and and working and that's why I have a certain fragrance I gravitate towards for that type of weather. Okay, y'all. So let me just show you some <laughs> the fragrances I have here. So the first category I'm going to start with is shampooy fresh clean because to me shampooy fragrances give you that clean shower fresh without smelling soapy and i don't mind smelling soapy but to me that cat that shampooy fresh clean is a little prettier to me um more feminine to me than i would say just your straight up soapy shower clean fragrance so the first one i have here is melrose place from way this is one it straight up smells like rosy like a green rose shampoo hair product type of fragrance which it should because it's from a hair product brand way is a hair product brand and this is one especially for the spring this is one, like, especially for the spring because of that rose. I would wear this on a rainy spring day because it's floral, it's rosy, it's green. 
and shampooy, clean, shower fresh to me all in one. So this is um, one I would really enjoy wearing and have worn on some of these cloudy, you know, rainy, dreary days. And that is Way Melrose Place. And when I say dreary, I love the rain, y'all. I love the rain. That's why I've been thinking about I need to move to Seattle because <laughs> I love it. Just I was thinking just move there, get tired of it you know, and then move back. I don't know. I just love the rain. And I feel like I never get enough of it everywhere I've lived in my life. It's like I never get enough of the rain. The next fragrance I have to show you is also from Way, And this is North Bondi. Now this, this smells so good to me. If you love the way the Way conditioner smells, the leave-in conditioners, oh this is how this smells you just smell like i said clean you know how when you take your shower and you've done your hair um you know some people wash their hair every day so they have that that beautiful shampoo mixed in with your shower all the time well i wash my hair once a week so when you have that clean smelling product hair scent going in your hair plus your layer whatever combination you're wearing but let's just say you want to smell like that from the, you know the top of your head to the bottom of your feet this is good oh yes it smells so good it's like powdery clean shampooy luxe hair product smell i love it once i finish this i'm getting the full bottle i'm getting the full bottle of this perfume i love it Love it. And again, that is North Bondi. Perfect to me for rainy days, especially those muggy, you know, humid, sitting on your type of rainy days. And then don't, don't, don't work somewhere where it's humid too. And you be sweating. I'm telling you from experience. <laughs> those are good, good. Okay, this next one is one I absolutely love also. This is Toka Julieta y'all again this is kind of with that melrose place this is perfection for spring it's got that shampooy clean vibe that i love but it's also floral and green but you, if you know me you know i don't love green fragrances and me are not friends <laughs> so this is one though it's good it is good it is pretty smells of spring i mean this, these type of fragrances you can wear any time of the year you really can but and you can wear what you want when you want anywhere anyway but anytime i just think it's perfect for just smelling good and I, if you're like me, the reason why I gravitate towards these fragrances, when when you get rained on, going in and out in the rain, and it's muggy and it's humid, you start to, I just feel like me, I start to just smell like the elements. And I don't like that. With these type of fragrances though, I don't get that feeling. Like if I was wearing something super sweet, I don't feel like it would smell good after I got rained on. Because even with the umbrella, y'all, getting out the car, I always get rained on. It never fails. I get rained on. And then that kind of, that rain scent to me mixes with whatever you're wearing. And when I am wearing fragrances like the ones I'm mentioning, I have no issues. None. Love this Toka Julieta. Okay. This is more of your, a little heavier, a little fruitier, but still like that hair product -y, shampoo y vibe I love. And this is C. Passione. Y'all, this is sexy to me. It, just, you, it smells heavier. It has more depth than the, the fragrances I mentioned thus far. But still, it still has that clean feminine 
hair product, shampoo, and I'm I'm talking luxe hair products, okay? I'm not I'm talking the ones that have that strong lingering fragrance. It's good. It's so good. See, passione. Y'all, I forgot to mention, I'm not wearing makeup <laughs> in this video. I am bare faced. It's Sunday. I have been filming a couple of videos. I'm going to have a busy work week. And it, like I mentioned, it's rainy. It's, it's cold. It's it's just a day where I don't feel like I wanted to I wanted to feel like, you know, getting kind of glam because I don't feel like I'd be looking glam. But I wanted to, you know, at least, you know, make myself up some. But it just won't happen to y'all. And I need to film because I just want to have time to film. So barefaced it is. Okay, this next perfume is one I've debated on, but I just I feel like it works. And I get a shampoo -y vibe. I don't know if other people do, but I do. And that is Lancome's Idol. This is one that I get. It's kind of, again, kind of like that Melrose Place. But this, as where Melrose Place is green, this is super rosy, pretty, feminine, modern, sparkly rosy scent that makes me think shampooy clean also and it's a compliment getter and i love it and i think it's great for you know these rainy days for, that we have during the springtime and again that is Idol by lancome this next one is one i've talked about i don't know how many times and this is versace dylan blue y'all When you first spray this, you really get that green apple. And then it it turns into the best way I've described this. And I'm sorry, it, it's, I'm, this is sounding redundant. Even though I can pick up different notes from all of these. Even though I'm saying hair product shampooy, This perfume always reminded me of you're taking, you took a good shower using you know, very good smelling products. And then you shampoo, condition, leave in condition your hair with the best smelling, you know, high end salon quality products. That's what this, I almost said shampoo. <laughs> that, that is what this perfume has always smelled like to me. And I love it. And I have worn this perfume just okay like on days like this where i'm barefaced i'm not doing a lot but i want to smell really good and and i know people who smell me will say wow she smells really good but it doesn't smell like you know over the top for when i'm not trying when i'm not done up but it works when you're done up too because i think this is a great work fragrance like if you're going somewhere like okay I, Monday when I go to work, I have a big district-wide end of the year like meeting, training, what at workshop that I have to go to. And I'm not going to wear this because I have something else I want to wear, but this would be one I would want to wear. Um, if I because it's inoffensive, you smell really good, you smell really clean. I don't, it wouldn't bother anybody, but you still, you smell still bougie, okay? And I like to smell that way, especially when I'm around a bunch of people for an important meeting. I want to smell bougie, okay? And I have what I plan to wear in this video because it's supposed to be raining, cloudy, and a little chilly. And I'm gonna show y'all the combination I plan to wear uh, for that big, year in meeting i have to attend but yeah this is good dylan blue love it poor femme dylan blue poor femme okay this is more of the affordable end um i really haven't shown you ones that are you know ridiculously overpriced yet but this is really affordable if you can find it because it is discontinued and that is justin bieber's the key perfume this one 
is shampooy shower musk it's a you've done everything you've showered you've done your hair you've lotion it's mixed with your body chemistry and you just smell really good that's what this these are along the lines of you smell good you don't smell particularly perfumey the ones i mentioned yeah oh this is good this is a good one I really love this and if you ever see this and you like fragrances that are musky clean showery your skin but better fragrances this is one I would definitely try out and again that is Justin Bieber the key okay this next fragrance I absolutely love this is philosophy pure grace this I haven't worn this in a minute. I need to wear this. This is your clean, soapy fragrance, but done in the most feminine, soft, beautiful way. Again, it's a you smell good. You just smell like the essence of you, honey, is just this good smelling. It, I just love this. And it took me years to love it, y'all. I would smell this. What did I smell? This? <sighs> yes, I think I would. I would smell the philosophies. And just one time, I think I purchased the scrub in TJ Maxx or Marshalls. And I was like, what is your problem? And then I purchased the whole line. So this is one that is just your skin but better the the shower the it's musky powdery clean soapy but like i said in the softest most feminine way that again to me is perfect for even if you wanted to be cozy at home on days like this i would spray myself down with this and have me a good old time smelling myself while reading a book or watching a movie or something because you just smell soft clean and feminine and i love it again that is pure grace okay i have two fragrances to show you from the same house the first one i'm going to show you is femme individuelle by mont blanc now this one is if you want to pack a punch this one it's not a your skin, but better shampooy or anything like that. This is pure powdery kind of floral. It's a flo It's a sweet floral powdery musk fragrance that smells beautiful because it has that freshness in there. It kind of reminds me. The more I'm smelling it, think of like that pink or just the dove bar soap okay and then think of that fresh coconut and cotton fragrance mist from bath and body works and also think of the powder lotion from the lotion company that you can get off of amazon the powder fresh it smells like baby powder mix all of those together and it's somewhat similar to this Oh, it's so good. And this is another one. It's, it's super feminine and pretty. Oh, but it works so well. It would work so well in this type of weather. This is another one that's kind of year round. Like I said, all of these practically, they're year round depending on how you feel i feel differently and want to wear different things for each season different fragrances but if i was in the mood honey for any of these they just work because you just smell so clean and good and feminine so good love this femme individual by mont blanc Okay, the other one from Mont Blanc, I have been loving this perfume. I've always loved it. I've been wearing it a lot lately, and I am just in bliss with it. And that is Mont Blanc Signature. 
And I hate I can't see through this bottle because it's feeling a little light. Did I get and this? Did I get the three point ounce? Yeah, I got the three ounces. It shouldn't be feeling light. That light. Milk bath, van vanilla milk bath heaven. It finally came to me after years of smelling this perfume and hearing people say it's the most, it's the, the yummiest vanilla and this. And I never got that from it. I got milky, clean, somewhat vanilla, but I just don't think vanilla when I smell this perfume. I never have, even though I've heard people rave about it being the best vanilla. What it reminds me of is the Dove Shea Butter and Vanilla Body Wash and Bar Soap, the lotion. That If you have that, amp it up with some citrus notes, with more freshness, but the vanilla in here, I'm just talking about the vanilla. It, it reminds me of that type of vanilla, a soapy kind of clean vanilla. Beautiful beautiful anytime but again during the spring rainy days you smell like you took a beautiful milky clean vanilla bath and who would want to smell like that love this mont blanc signature another fragrance i absolutely love and think it's perfect for this time of year and with the rainy weather is amo ferragamo's perle because this i've always said This smells like shower fresh, you lotion, and put a pretty perfume dusting powder. You know, the Estee Lauder dusting powders. I know my grandmother used to have those and love them. And you just take the big poof and you just dust, lightly dust it, and you just smell really good. That's what this gives me. And again, that's how I tend to like to smell when it's raining. I, beautiful. I love this perfume, Amo Ferragamo Perle. Another perfume that I feel that is just apropos for this time of year. I go back and forth of when I like to wear this perfume, the fragrance, the, the fragrance DNA. But I have noticed with me that on rainy days, I do reach for this perfume. And that is Ariana Grande's Cloud. I don't know because it's called Cloud or it's got the big old cloud on the doggone cap. I don't know, but I do reach for this perfume when it's cloudy and rainy. And to me, y'all know this fragrance DNA, okay? The Baccarat Rouge, it's a transparent, somewhat sweet, woody, musky DNA. And I think that's why I think it works well be, to, for this type of weather because it is a I, it, it's, it's cloudy it's a cloudy transparent type of fragrance that you it's like you're walking through a mist that's how this dna to me works it's very weird and the way it smells like I, i've said it before it is the fragrance dna that had to grow on me but yeah i do i tend to reach for this cloudy days like i said i don't know if it's the name the cloud i don't know what it is but i do reach for it and again that is ariana grande's cloud another perfume that i think where you smell lux it's it's an aquatic scent i do feel like it works for this season on the rainy days and that is Joe Malone's Wood Sage and Sea Salt. And if you don't have Joe Malone, I should have brought it out here, Fineries Over the Rainbow, cause that's the dupe to it. <sighs> Powdery, musky, aquatic, a little salty. Again, it kinda gives me your skin, but better vibes. It smells luxe to me. The finery one smells prettier to me. They smell very similar. That one smells very prettier. I don't know if that one I would say. It just, it's, it's a little prettier, but to me, this one smells more luxe. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah. So good. So good. Again, that is Wood Sage and Sea Salt by Joe Malone. 
Another perfume that I think is great anytime, like I keep saying, but especially during muggy, rainy days, especially you're gonna be out in it, is Glossier's You. Okay, y'all? This is a perfume that, it, to me, it smells good from the bottle, but the magic happens when you put it on your skin because it's one of those molecule adjusts to your particular body chemistry to make your particular scent, to make you smell like the best you version fragrance-wise. Because this is kind of sweet, it's kind of powdery, it's kind of musky. And then you put it, I put it on my skin and it keeps that musky cleanness. And it does, it smells like me, but just better. Like it doesn't smell like a perfume. It smells just like you just smell really, really good. And I love this. Oh, love it. Glossier's You. Okay, now these next two fragrances before I get to my combo I'm planning to wear in the upcoming cool rainy day for that uh, big meeting I have to attend. These are the two sweet fragrances that I have been wearing during the month of April when I was craving something sweet and fluffy, even when it was cloudy, it didn't bother me. And that's why it made, and raining, it, and that's why I made it to, <laughs> to this list. And that, y'all probably can guess it, is Killian's Princess. Y'all, I know I'm almost done with this bottle and I cannot see through it for the life of me. It is completely opaque and I just know I'm almost done with it. I'm glad I have a backup. This is fresh green tea spicy marshmallowy perfection this works any time of the year i wore this one day when it was muggy it did not bother me it didn't mess with me like things can depending on the weather i'm the type my fragrance <laughs> the weather can mess with how i'm enjoying my fragrance and it did not bother me at all. <sighs> I love it. I love this. Killian Princess. The other perfume I'm actually wearing today, I have worn it when it was hot and rainy and muggy. Today I'm wearing it when it's cool and rainy. And I'm loving it. And that is Kayali's Young Pistachio Gelato 33. Hence, the, the, I'm going to be finishing this bottle after I get finished filming. Because when I'm filming and smelling different fragrances, I don't like to spray myself down with my perfume of the day. But this works, y'all. Because this is the perfect, in my opinion, spring and summer gourmand. Especially... If you're like me and you can't roll with those gourmand fragrances in the heat, this is perfection. And it's also giving me that if you are one, you want that sweet, cozy vibe when it's raining, this is perfect for that. And Princess is perfect for that. They are perfect for the sweet, cozy vibes when it's raining, but it works if you're out in the rain, if you get rained on, it doesn't bother me. Love it. And again, that is Kayali's Young Pistachio Gelato 33. Okay, the last two fragrances I am planning to layer together to make myself smell like the cleanest, bougiest person at that meeting with everybody, okay? And the first one I'm going to talk about is by Rato's Mojave Ghost. These two are the ones that are super duper expensive. These last two I'm going to be talking about. This is my first and only so far by Rato perfume. This, okay, let me tell you the story. I've been interested in this by Rato for a minute to get a fragrance, but I, they get so many mixed reviews. And 
there's nowhere I mean I could drive a ways to go smell it but <laughs> I don't want to do that and so I'm good especially since I've started my channel at really reading notes and knowing after I've researched if I would like a perfume when I'm blind buying and I technically didn't blind buy this because what pushed me over the edge is Way came out with a leave-in conditioner with this scent. If you hear the garage, I'm sorry. With this scent, Mojave Ghost. And that's when I fell in love. And I was like, on my list, on my list, on my list. And I just decided to go for it, especially when I saw that they came out with a matching lotion and body cream and body wash so I could layer with this scent because the main thing I've always heard is by Rado fragrances do not last. And you know, these are 200 plus dollar per fragrances. I, now, I'm not one that be going off on a body spray not lasting, but if I'm dropping 200 plus dollars, you best to last some. <laughs> so, I was like, mm. but when I saw that they came out with, you know, different, I could layer it up. I said, I'm going to go for it. This is the ultimate your skin, but better fragrance. It's so musky, woody, but fresh and clean and gives me that shampoo hair, Lux hair product vibe, Lux sh shower vibe, everything put together in one. That's what this gives me. I know some people love it for the gym because when you sweat, you smell really good. I, honey, honey, I'm not wearing a 200 plus fragrance to the gym or to work out. I'm not in that tax bracket where I'm going to bust out <laughs> an expensive niche perfume to work out in. I'm not there yet. You know, one day if I make it there, I might do it, but it ain't today. But I love this for just you smell good, okay? So that's Mojave Ghost. It's wonderful during any time, but cloudy, dreary. And I wouldn't wear, this is not one I would want to spray and just lay around in. It doesn't give me that type of vibe. It gives me going out and be a, being a little active and you'll smell good. I, it, was, it smells good laying around, but again, probably because of the price tag, I'm saying that I'm not just going to spray this and just sit, it, sit, it, lay around in the house because it, I don't have it like that. I, I, I'm not doing that with expensive perfumes. Unless, and I don't do that. <laughs> I don't. I was about to say, unless, I don't think I've ever done that. Have I? Maybe during when we were all at the house, maybe. I don't think I did then. But if you want to, do you. But I'm doing me and I don't do that. But this is one great to me, just a you smell good. Like that clean, aesthetic, clean girl. You don't like to smell. You, you just like to smell clean. This is perfect, Mojave Ghost. Now, what I plan to layer with that is Tom Ford Soleil Neige. I've been talking about this forever, y'all. I have the travel spray. This smells so unique and clean to me. It's a, it's a sparkling, citrusy, soapy, clean fragrance that as it dries down, I get some vanilla, I get some musk, I get a little woodiness that comes out in it that smells so good to me. And it's a compliment getter. I received a compliment every time I've worn it. And I think it's perfect for any time like I keep saying, but when it's rainy, when it's muggy, when it's dreary, when you feel like you might sweat a little bit, if, you, if you're in humid conditions, perfect. This to me is bad and bougie at its best layered together, clean edition. I, <laughs> it's, it's good, y'all. It's good. All right, y'all, so those are all of my fragrances that I wanted to share with you for the rainy spring season. These are my favorites right now of my rainy day fragrances that I've been enjoying and loving. And yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did enjoy it, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below telling me your top 
one or two top three fragrances you love for the rainy weather we would love to know for the spring season and please share this video with everybody y'all just share 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 and please don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't ever miss any of my videos and as i always say if you like my vibe subscribe until next time bye